Say so, alright, so first and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yoshai, Bashem Kakodash. We say that my supposed to Elias Agri Musa and Ruel or teaches our person in shoot. And we see our letition, sorry, I came out to push you with on truth and sincerity day in and day out and concern the in season and season with Shishalom. And once again, going into a video here, and it's basically touching upon this post. Now, this 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 particular post that is seen here was posted about a day ago, right? Which is which which is stated Trinidad Weather Watch. It says several foreign experts monitoring seismic activity have predicted that tnt will face a deadly 8.1 magnitude earthquake soon now with this post it was posted on this um trinidad weather weather watch and we recently before this post was posted we recently got um an earthquake which was like four point something now i've been doing videos going in with the amount of earthquakes that that the caribbean have been seeing for the past few months now it's not only the caribbean as well but it's the whole world if you go and look at top your city size make activity has increased greatly increased as well right and we know all these things go back to prophecies right because the lord talk about the earthquakes now this you know i might do a three-part video on this or two-part because with this year there were also some comments that that was put underneath sorry there was there were some comments that were, some comments sorry there were some comments put underneath the post you know that kind of stood out because just like this particular post here say um this particular comment it say i rebuke that in the name of you know the jc it say our lord and savior amen and amen, amen so you can see the these 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 jakes on the island here they're still you know praying to jc just like many of these people around the world but they want to rebuke it you know they they, they use they rebuke it, they use the word rebuke like if it's a cloak, like if it's some sort of protection and so forth. Like if it was stop the things that the Lord has sending. So as I said, you know, I might um so this one here I'll go into the to the earth, earthquake aspect of it. But I also want to go into this to this comment here. So this might be the part two to the video. And I might do our next video going into um so one more thing, right? But nonetheless. So continuing on this here, it says several foreign experts monitoring seismic activity have predicted TNT will face a deadly 8.1 uh, magnitude earthquake soon. Um, and before I continue into saying more stuff, I would like to bring um, the scripture here. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 6, right? Right, it says, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. So as they say, how all shall be visited, they say, thou shall be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake. And if, and if you actually go and look up, um, if you go and look up all around the world, right, you would see how much earthquakes are taking, um, taking, happening right now, you know. Um, I believe it was California. The same time this post was put out, California put out an article stating that there were like seven earthquakes per day. Now, it may not be major earthquakes, but they can still feel some. And with the abundance of those things that happening, you know, something greater is going to come. Right? And you know, many, many people, just like this person here, they believe that they could turn back what is being sent. They believe that they could stop what is being sent. Right? No. Because let's go now to, let's go now to Matthew chapter 24, verse 7. It says, For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. So this is this is this is the things that matter. Let me go up a little bit, right? Let me go up a little bit. Let me read from verse three. It says, "And as he sat upon the mount of olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world?'" So they were asking, "Tell us, you know, tell us the, the things, you know, what going to happen, you know, what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world, right?" And he said, and Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Mashiach, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So they say here, and, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. All these things must come to pass. And this is just like this commenter here. They believe that, these things not going to happen. The things were written and not going to come to pass. No, that, that would just totally be off. Right? And that would make the Lord what? A liar. And we know that that is not what the Lord is. Right? 
so these things the, so um so as i say but the end is not yet you see for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet and as the end it's not yet and just like i said wars and rumors of wars i mean you could just go on pony news this this you know pony news on 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 um a news channel or go up on a news page and you would see those things are happening right it says verse 7 it says for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places right and just as it stated here for nation shall rise against nation we are seeing that and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places and earthquakes in diverse places and tell us about the earthquakes here right so this this now to these people we Trinidad itself, they haven't we haven't received any like major catastrophe, like hurricane wise, storm wise, you know, um earthquake wise, you know, we had one or two little heavy shakes, but it wasn't as bad. No, this is this no this is now where the these Israelites on the land they they end up in a complacent mindset. Right, they end up in a mindset where they believe nothing is going to happen to them. So they so they made they made up a statement saying God is a trini, nothing shall come unto us. You know, there is things that, that, that they just say. You know, and they make mockery of the of those things. Right? They make mockery of those things. Right? Um, but eventually something is something is going to happen, just like we're seeing right now, the great increase of crime, the great um all these floods, all these natural things, all these stuff that they're seeing in the world, this and this, so forth. These people haven't seen anything or haven't dealt with certain things like that. So now it's happening, they don't know how, they're panicking, they don't know what to do. And just like this person here, they're calling on to idols, you know, they're calling on to idols and that is what they would turn to, right? Um, <clears throat> but, as the script, but as the script just stated, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Now, we talk about the famines recently, right? We talk about the pestilences and we don't see... We, right now, we are being plagued by dengue, um, something called the Oropoon or the Oropoos virus and many other stuff that's causing, you know, great, great pain right now, great death and so forth um, taking place. Now, not only us, all around the world this is happening. Right, you see any things that in America, America putting out statements about three different diseases every day. And they say an earthquakes in diverse places, and we are seeing that. Right? Um, before I continue. Let me see if I get this here. Let's see if I can get this here. Um right. You know what? No. Alright, I wouldn't I wouldn't bring that, but nonetheless, it's say um verse eight, all these are the beginning of sorrow. So yes, yeah, so all these is the beginning. Now what we go back to verse three, say um, as it says, tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world. So what what it is we see in the end being made manifest as the book of um is uh the book of Ezra stated. You no, know, the end is being made manifest, and we see that how we see that through the signs, right? So it say all these are the beginning of sorrows because you you can go and look up on the news and you're seeing people against people, nation against nation. We see in um. We see in um you see how the migrant thing is going on and we've seen things like civil wars we've seen things that could break off right people against people and all all, all these things we're seeing you know we're just not in no good time but just like these people here they believe everything is going to continue as is you know everything going to be good you know you know tell us the sign uh, uh, you know tell um let me bring that there is in peter um let me get that um This is Second Peter chapter three verse four, and saying, "Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of of um of the creation." So just like some of these comments that I was reading on this on this page, you know, they believe everything gonna continue as is. Yeah, we we hear about we hear about the end of the world, 
we hear about the end of the world show with times and so forth and so on my grandmother was teaching that where the end of times and all these things and they realize they say the end of times you know it have a process to go through we have to go through the prophecies so everything would take a particular time to happen that is why right now we're seeing such an increase in so much of these things the famines the pestilences the the earthquakes right the wars the rumors of wars you know and just imagine all these all these are the, just the beginning what about the middle and the end so at 8.1 magnitude earthquake is going to cause major chaos we we you know um i recently saw a video with with is, is haitian migrants i believe it's in america they were committing cannibalism you know eating cats and doing all these things so imagine in a imagine in a, in a situation like this 8.1 um happen the kind of chaos that's going to cause for a small island like this you know you know what is going to happen to the people and we are going through like food crisis we're going through certain things right now right so keep on keep on thinking being in a mindset like you know everything gonna continue as is now nah. And that is, that is the mindset that these people are in. They, they believe everything going to get better or nothing going to happen. But things are happening. So if it, you know some of the comments that, that were spotted on this page, like when it, when it, when it, um, when, um, when it was posted, you see some of the comments was like, nah, this isn't going to happen. We hear this before and all these other things, you know. And hopefully I could find it back and, um, you know, I'll share more of some of the some of the comments we're not doing the second part to the video right so yeah um so let's go to our next scripture here now let's go to our next scripture you know this is the book of um second Ezra chapter nine and i'm gonna read from verse um two it said then shall thou understand that it is the very same time when the highs will begin to visit the world which he made Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, are we not seeing that right now? Just think about it. We are seeing that right now. Earthquakes and uproars. Right? He said, Then shall thou well understand that the Mosai spake of these things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world had a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Right? The end is manifest. It say even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder wonder and powerful works and endings in effects and signs and that's literally it we're seeing the ending in effects and signs we, we are seeing that the signs that were given unto us that would take that that would happen at the end we now read it in matthew and you could read it in many other many other um scriptures right that that signs were given that things that would happen at the end so this is this is this is just to show you they just be they just be talking about they know the Bible, but if it know the Bible, it would have known that these things were meant to happen, because this is prophecy. This is prophecy, right? This is prophecy. So, hey, you know, eventually something going to happen. It's at eight point one, and there's a serious earthquake, right? Now again, if you go and look up the seismic activity that's happening all around the world, you'll see it on a on a high increase japan japan were recently talking about a mega quake california going through days the caribbean going through um we're going to show our say in the caribbean and so on and so forth again as the scripture said um that, that um for like all that is made in the world had a beginning and an end and the end is manifest the end is being made manifest right they say even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder and powerful works and endings in effects and signs right and that's what we're seeing. The end of this place. Right? So with that, we give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yoshai, Ba'ashem, Rekakadash. We sit up on our personal elders' agreements and our rule while the teachers of our personal truth. And we see salutations so the Akim will say, pushing on truth and sincerity. Day in and day out in the country. In season and season, we say, Shalom.